welcome back I got a, a vlog style sit down style a whole bunch of stuff, clips I did today um, that I'm putting putting um, in this video okay stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna talk about this giveaway the camera I told y'all was gonna do for the giveaway the camera I told y'all was gonna do for the giveaway so stay tuned to the end for that um, I'm, and in this clip, I'm going to show you how I made this three-tiered stand, like a service piece. Um, you know how, like I said, you on, on here, I was saying you buy um, a whole big old box of dishes, right? And you have extra pieces to it. You can make, oh, this is heavy and I do not want it to come apart. I just glued it. You can make a tiered stand to match your dishes. Oh, uh, Yeah. That's heavy. Oh, she's heavy. <laughs> so, um, you know, and I did that is going to be the next clip. You'll get, I'll show you how I did that. But, um, yeah, so it's going to be a couple clips in here. And, um, again, like I said, the giveaway and a couple other things I found, like where I found some nice mask at. I wanted to talk to y'all about that. So, there's a couple things in here today. I hope you guys enjoy this style. Um, at the end, please stay tuned because I do talk about some a little detour I'm gonna do with my channel I think I'm hoping that you guys enjoy it I will I'm you know I'm interested in trying going down this path with the channel so just stay tuned it is a little longer video um, but I talk about some of the things I'm gonna be adding to the channel and some of the things I'm gonna keep and hang in there with um, but it'll be a whole mix together and today is starting sort of that style that I'm talking about just different clips of whatever's going on in my life during the day but stay tuned to the end so you can kind of hear what I'm talking about so anyway y'all I'm not going to make this clip long because I got a bunch talking to y'all about today and I will chit chat with you guys later and um got the tiered stand coming up next I <laughs> couldn't think what I wanted y'all that's what you call old brain all right I'll talk to y'all in a minute be doing this today with a glue gun and um the reason why i'm doing it is so i can take it apart when need be for storage purposes i don't have enough space to store this like i would like to so i can pull it apart with the um hot glue but once i have the space i will be gluing this with some e6000 or uh something that's like a clear glue the monster clear monster glue or something like that you want to just glue it together and that way it's permanent but I want to be able to take this apart for storage. So I'm just going to be using some uh, hot glue. Okay, so we got this part done. I'm going to do this part first. Now, what I want to do with this tape measure, I just really, my interest is the inside circle, right? So from here to here is eight and a half. So, yeah, eight and a half. So. And then from inside to inside is eight and a quarter. So I'll do the eight and a half, which should be four and a quarter, which would be right here is my center, right? So about right here. And now I just want to make sure I got four and a half on each side. And then I kind of know where my, um, cause I'm not marking it or anything. Like I said, I'm doing this with hot glue right now. If you were going to do this with permanent glue, you want to have yourself a marker and you want to be able to and you want to measure a hundred times okay so i don't even have four there so let me see right here this is what i'm using this candlestick is going to be my base now with this you don't even have to have a base but me i'm going for the dramatic look so i know that's my center and as a matter of fact i want to do a little cleaning on this too i, I like the um patina that this has I know the lighting ain't the best, but I like the patina that that has. So, um, I just want to wipe off any dust. So, any dust. And, um, so I'm just doing a quick wipe off with it. There you go. Now I'm going to take the dry part and get that where that hot glue is going to be and then i'm gonna sit this here and now to do a quick check on on um measurements got this in the center eyeballed it in the center and now i'm gonna just go around it a couple times so i got two yeah i'm not straight let's see okay 
Okay, that's good. And that side is gonna be too perfect for it to be right. Oh no, that's right. What, did I actually get the sign? Oh wow, surprising. Nope, I knew it. That might be right. And then two. Okay, I'm okay with that. So, I got my glue gun going. And with this, I'm just gonna pick this up and go around here. Now, I should honestly have a circle down. That's what I should have. I should honestly have a circle around down here. This is the hot glue. The one that's hot, hot. Ooh, it's just dripping too. Okay. This thing got hot. So it's gonna give me a little more work time. Okay, so now I'm going straight for that center, and I got it. There you go. So, okay, I'm okay with that. So we got the bottom piece on. So I'm going to pick it up. Oh, man, I picked it up too fast, y'all. Did it too fast. That's all right. Give it a few minutes. This is heavy. So I'll go right back to the drawing board. That's the thing about this hot glue. It, you can break these apart. It is not a permanent stick. Even the Gorilla glue, I've noticed, comes apart. Oh, I got this hot glue right on my cell phone. All right. So, again, I'm going to go right over here. little minis they don't give you no time okay they don't give you no time so right about there is where I'm at yeah I'm good okay so I give that a second and then I'm gonna go over it again And here's another trick. So you can just go around this with the glue to get another bond since it's up underneath. Now that's other layers, you won't be able to do this. Only if it's underneath. Didn't I just break it? <laughs> it just broke. Cheap little thing. I got another one. I'll grab it. Ain't that crazy? Let me stop. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I finished off the first piece. I'll be bringing that back soon. But I want to show you how I put this on here. Now, you see the star shape this? This isn't a flat candlestick. I thrifted these as well as every all the pieces of the uh, milk glass and that uh, candlestick base that I'm using. So we got this. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do the. This is gonna be the second tier. I'm gonna do this first, and then I'll connect it on the bottom of the base. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right. So I want to get this. Get a comfortable mark on here just a comfortable marker and um, like I said if you're doing this permanent you want to make sure that you get um, all the measurements perfect but right now I'm doing this to show y'all I would take the measuring tape and I would uh, I'm gonna be taking this apart though for uh, storage purposes Okay, so we gotta come over a little bit that way. Okay. And then here, I think I gotta come back. About there. Yeah, I think I got it now. So, I'm waiting, letting this other head to switch glue guns. Because that one I just brought from the 99 cent store for $1.49 or a dollar, it was $1.99. Yeah, it broke. 
So all I'm gonna do with this star thing, I'm gonna put it on each tip, a, bit, a little bit of the hot glue on each tip, and I'm trying to make sure it gets hot enough. So, and I only got two more, one more of these after this. <laughs> so, yeah, I ain't been doing no crafting, y'all. So I'll get that on there, and then I'm gonna try to get this on each one. Why are you doing this hot glue gun? Okay, a little bit there and a little bit on this one. Yeah, I forgot this glue gun is the one that doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. So then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna pray I got that set down right. Okay, there you go. Yep, I think I got that pretty good. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm happy with that. Okay, perfect though. Look at that. Okay, now I'm probably gonna have to lift y'all up because I'm gonna bring this bottom one back up. See, I put a stand underneath there, right? And there's the, this is a charger size of the milk glass plates. Now I'm gonna lift y'all back up so you can see because we're working up higher now. Okay, and then here is this is going to be the second tier, and it's going to go just like that. See? Let me get this down a little bit more. And we just got to find the center here. So here, now this is where I'm going to really need this tape measure, because this is the important part. So, about four and a half, and I'm going to work with these little indentations right here on each side of these because I have them on four sides. So I'm gonna take this to there and I got about four and a half. And then here, I don't have, I need to move it over this way some. And I'm at four and a half. Let me see, still at four. Nope, that's the thing. This gonna take you some time. That'll take you, this part right here is what will take you some time. But it's worth it because when you get it even, then, um, you know, it, it looks better. It looks so much better when it's even. Okay, where's my little notch? And then it is at four and a half so oh wow that was a blessing got it pretty good so this glue gun doesn't cooperate often so i'm just gonna lift this and put some around here and lift it and put it over here and like i said this is not permanent today guys so All right, that's enough just to hold it for now. Just a little bit on here, because you don't want too much of it showing underneath. And actually, I can see it because this ain't clear, clear hot glue. I think this one had some color, but like I said, when I get ready to do it permanent, I'll be doing it with clear glue, and it'll be like E6000 or something that's gonna dry clear. Okay, so now, the last part of this is, where's my other plate? y'all oh right here so the last part of this will be this and i'm going to use again this matching candlestick and crystal this is a crystal candlestick so i'm gonna move this big old guy to the side and i got this plate so but that would take if i use this bottom piece you see how that would take up that whole plate and it would take away my whole serving area well i can't so i'm gonna be doing it this way right just like that so i'll have, still have some serving area left there you see and then let me pick you up a little more see because we're on this level now ooh, ooh, i took you too much too far okay y'all this is what you call hot messness okay stop it thing don't play with me okay so you should be able to see pretty good right there okay so after I put it on here and I get it even 
I want to get this even in the center here. And I'm going to glue it down on this piece. And then all I have to do is put a little bit of glue up there and put that on. And then I have my stand. You see? It's just easy, y'all. Completely too easy. So I'm going to put a little bit on these corners here. Like I did that one. And I'm going to put it down. And I pretty much think I got it. But like I said, this is going to be taken apart to be done permanent. But I just don't have a place to store it. And I'm not using it right now. And then on here, I'm just going to put some glue right around the edge where I know it's going to meet. right on top just like that and even it out and there you go perfect and so you pull off your little strings and now I'm gonna show you oh, this thing gets heavy y'all one second one second you sit right there for one second let me show you what I'm working with here show you then I'm gonna talk about this little bit. you see here's the charger plate the dinner plate the bread and butter plate and like a dessert cup of some sort or you know a dessert bread and butter or a dessert plate and then you got your matching tumbler and I have so many other pieces to this but I just brought out some to show you but then my centerpiece would be the matching tear tray look at that y'all how formal is that with that silver base it got some age to it and then three tiers, and now those candlesticks are crystal. So crystal and milk glass. Look at that. Y'all stop playing with your girl. So like I said, I'm going to take it apart now. Um, you know, the next day or two. I might do a table with it really quick. And then I'll take it apart so I can store it. But when I do go to put it together, I'll be putting that together with, um, you know, some E6000. But anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Now, this is the last clip. <laughs> I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that tiered stand. But I was just thinking, you know, a lot of people buy those big boxes of dishes and they have all those extras. And you can make all these now. Like I said, you can make the cake plate. Had you just did the first layer there with the big silver base and the, and the milk glass plate, that's a cake plate. Um, or you could could have did it with one of the silver, I mean, one of the crystal. And that's a cake plate. You know what I mean? The uh, crystal with the, uh, just the milk glass. So if you have several of them, um, the extra charger plates you can do and you really don't need the charger plate plate for the place setting You could use all of those, you know um, They come in handy for so many reasons all the extra pieces. I mean really nice So or and like I said, it doesn't have to be milk glass It could be any pattern any dish any brand and you can do all those. So anyway This is something I forgot to show y'all on my thrift haul yesterday all around vlog type style sit down chit chat vlog type style um video today y'all because i'm talking about a few things i got this the other day when i went to goodwill um and this was three dollars and 99 cent it didn't have a price on it but when i took it up front they charged me 3.99 it's just a um stainless steel cake plate now again for something like if you're going to put a plate on top of it and you can use it for and you can make this one anything you already got it done and you don't have to make it permanent you can take one of the dollar tree chargers or any kind of those plastic chargers that match your set put it on here and you got a matching cake plate just sit it there have the cake on it cut the uh cake on it and who knows what's underneath or you can just use the stainless steel and put a dome on it and call it a day 
So I thought that was nice for $3.99. Not bad. I got that. That was supposed to be in my thrift haul. I forgot it. Forgot to show it to y'all. Okay, and then I um that's glue sticks. I was just working on it. Oh, I wanted to hear the public service announcement. I went to Ross the other day. I told y'all that. And um showed that was did I show y'all? I didn't know because I got body creams. That's right. But this is what I wanted to show you. They had five face masks, right? And they're the disposable ones. So, you know, if you're doing a quick run and doing some grocery shopping and all that, and you want to be able to pitch it, this they were $2.99 for five. A bit high. A bit high. Because I remember I used to get six for a dollar and fifty cent at Daiso before all this came about. But um five of these and Daiso, I paid ten, I got ten for ten dollars there. Now you know that that price gouging. Crazy. And then, but Ross. I got these. Where's the other one I get from Ross? I got one other one. Oh, right here. I got a pack of three for $2.99, I think. Yeah. And these are, I took them out because I'm going to throw them in the dryer with some Lysol. They're brand new, but, and they was in a package. But I'm going to throw these in the dryer. Look at that. Look at this. Uh, oh, look. Yes. And I'm all covered up. So these are really nice. So I got a black one in the pack. I got this floral. Right? And I got this pink. So I'm going to spray them and throw them in the dryer. And um, put them in a Ziploc bag. And I'll keep them in my handbag. But then I had ordered these. These are a mess. I got five for $10. $9.95 I think it was off of Etsy. Plus shipping. Look at this. Look at this mess. Don't do it. It's all. I, this is what I wanted to show y'all. Don't do it. And they're so big. Look, you can barely, they fall off your face. You got to tie. One time I had to use one. And um, last week, that's what made me go looking for more. I had to tie knots here so they fit my face so I could get into the store. Yeah, hot mess. They ain't worth the money. But anyway. Um, like I said, this is a sit down talk vlog style. Show you that. Show you what I forgot to show you. Talk about the mask. And talk about um, some changes I'm getting ready to do to my channel. I, I think I'm ready to try my hands at uh, vlog style. Um, not that anything else would be going away. I think that would, it would just be in an addition. So I would start all my videos off vlog style but if I was going to do something like decorate a table and I was going to take y'all along with me each step or decorate something in the house or go out and do some shopping or something like that I think I'm gonna start doing it like that and involving more of me so you guys could get to know me and what I do on a daily basis like I said I have been working on trying to figure out um, how I could do the uh, morning routine you know with like cook getting up fixing what I have for breakfast that type of thing um, and just more about my day-to-day, -day, everyday um, life. I don't know. I, I guess, you know, I don't have nothing overly exciting going on. However, you know, I'm the middle-aged, um, let's just say mid-50s. We ain't got to be talking about the over or under. <laughs> but I'm in my 50s, and I'm retired, and some people might be interested to know what goes on. You know what I mean? In this type of life. But anyway, um, so I think I'm going to be doing that. But I won't be taking away the decorating part of it. Um, I'm going to be adding a whole lot more. Because I'm doing stuff to the house. And I'm getting ready to start turning on the camera. And taking y'all with me with that. Um, the guest bedroom, I'm almost ready to get in there. I had to get rid of some stuff out of there. Um, because I'm putting that new. I told y'all I brought a new bed for my room. It was when it came. It was like this short. <laughs> yeah. It was like, no. Nah. I didn't want it. I didn't want to take. I don't like the size of mine. It's just way too big. But that one was way too small. Um, and my furniture was going to dwarf it. You know, the the dressers and stuff in there. So I'm putting that bed. That it's like a dark gray. It'll be in, going in the guest room. So I had to get rid of the other bed. Um, I had to get rid of the nightstands because I told you I'm doing a bed wall. Um, but I'll be taking you through all the steps of that. How to do it very, you know, very very affordable. Like I mean hundred dollars ish maybe well well i had brought a lot of the stuff 
already so I already had stuff that I had in mind for that room so I'm gonna say it's probably not gonna cost me over 140 bucks for that room to change it drastically the way it is the way I'm gonna be changing it so um and I didn't even take a before before I started getting rid of stuff y'all I forgot but anyway um yeah so yeah all of that that's some changes that's coming so um a lot of you guys is new i appreciate you hanging there it's going to be you know with me i am uh, going to make this change as to not do so much shopping but i y'all know me your girl can't help but these streets get the call in my ears get the buzzing and it ain't nothing i can do i just got to get up and go you know what i mean um yeah that's my life however I have been getting rid of so much stuff. So I'm to the point now where even when I do go into these stores, I'm like, I don't need that. So I'm not even really buying much. But anyway, I told you I was going to be doing a camera giveaway. And I've had this probably for about a month now or more. <laughs> after, right after I did that video, it's been maybe two months. I have ordered this from Amazon. And let me see, I opened it because I wanted to make sure I had it for so long. I had to make sure I got it. It comes with a free uh, one-year giveaway i mean a giveaway one year warranty extended warranty so that's in the box then you get the extra user manual and you get when stop playing with me what is going on with this crazy wind here's the camera this is it's one of those action cameras you can set it up and do all kinds of stuff you can have this on the go it's tiny it has two batteries in there right so you would charge your batteries and have them ready to go for when you go out and you could do all kinds of stuff with this now this is one of the inexpensive ones it's like a $30 camera but it's for somebody who um here's the back screen on here that you can see what you're doing Ooh, I'm gonna drop the battery oh lord let me put this up um so you know if you're trying to get into it and you don't you know if you want to figure out how to edit or how to do anything i mean this is a nice camera you you will have to buy a micro sd card you will have to buy one because it doesn't come with it um okay and then you get this accessory box this has a whole bunch of accessories in it when i say a bunch i mean a bunch i'll show you i just hate to open it because it's hard to get all this stuff back in it's all kinds of these gadgets a screw thing to hold it on a bike you can put it on your car and you know drive with it and have a, the uh, camera in your car with you um, you know like take driving scenes um, you can put this on a belt you can put it on a tripod here's straps that hold it on to, if you want to put it on the side of your car to do stuff like that. it's just like a GoPro but nowhere near as good uh, but you know it's a it, here's this is a dash hook you know you stick this with the sticky thing on your dash and you can put the camera in there and you can actually drive and have you know how people do the videos like that i mean it has all look y'all when i tell you it has a whole bunch of stuff a whole bunch more stuff in there it comes with a whole bunch of accessories i don't want to pull them all out but anyway i think i'm at 92 9200 and something subscribers so i think when i get to 90 9450 94.50 is what I'm going to be drawing for this. But I just wanted to let y'all know that that's coming along. That's coming up. So the camera is here. The giveaway is still here. Um, but 94.50. So share my channel if you want. Tell your friends about me. Tell your cousins. Your neighbors. Lady at the grocery store in front of you. Tell them all. So I'm going to click on uh, the channel and subscribe because when I get to 9450, I will be doing the giveaway. And if you're interested in trying this, I mean, it's good to try it. It's free. It will come to you just like this. So anyway, y'all, that's what's new with me. I'm not going to hold you too much longer. Um, this video is probably long enough because I had a couple clips. I had a couple little mishaps. So I had a couple clips in this. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stand and um like i said it matches my little place setting all milk glass and i got so many i got the cups saucers the snack plates the tumblers i got everything you could think of that goes to this oh and this still got a sticker on it look at that 
this was the whole set was two ninety nine of these. This wasn't two ninety nine on its own. But I got um the dinner plates and the tumblers I brought back in New Jersey. Back in oh god, two thousand six, two thousand seven era. Yeah. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna get off of here and I will chit chat with you guys. I don't know about tomorrow. Tomorrow, if I do come on tomorrow, it'll be the bookcases because that's going to be worked on. I did pull everything that I think I might want to be using for that. It's sitting on the floor um, in front of it. And I'm going through the cleaning process of it. I'm dusting, cleaning the top and all the shelves and everything. And the floor all around. You know, I'm doing the whole dining area over there cleaning. And then I will be putting down the new rug and doing the bookcases. So I'll bring y'all along with me when I do that. So that might happen tomorrow. Or it might happen today, Wednesday, because your girl's about beat. I need a day off. And I ordered from Amazon today. And it depended on what time they come. I might do a video on what I, you know, the process. But they're coming between 10 p.m. tonight and midnight to drop off the groceries. Yeah, that's the best I could get. Um, because Texas is rising in the um, coronavirus again, people coming out with it. I've been trying to stay in as much as possible. I needed groceries, so I did the Amazon and had them. I'm having them bring the uh, groceries to me. I'm trying to stay home as much as possible. So, yeah. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think below. If you watch the whole video, let me know. Tell me whether you think the, that the vlogging thing would be good, if, it would be in, if you would be interested in it, um, and um, what you think about it. That's it. But, anyway, I will... this is not the video to enter for the camera. It's not because I'm not, I'm gonna put that out around, a, by the time I get to like 9,300, 9,350, I'll put out a video in between those numbers with the like the actual announcement of the giveaway. So this is not the video. So you don't have to put nothing underneath about the camera. Um, but just let me know about the vlogging part of it. And so if I did the vlogging, I'd probably do it four to five days a week. I'd probably upload and maybe some bonus videos here or there i'd probably do some um you know chats that will still have the saturday night lives um or you know and stuff like that so we'll still do things like that it'll still be like a lot of videos that go out but it'll be a little more controlled in what i'm doing but anyway y'all thanks a lot i will chit chat with you guys later leave me some comments and don't forget to like share subscribe and leave them comments all right i'll talk to y'all later Bye bye